What are you taking, Motans? Well, I mean, nothing at the moment, but in the past, you know, popped a couple pills. And you look at you, you're a specimen of health. Oh, thanks, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I've had uh, magnesium, zinc, multivitamin, vitamin D, and fish oil. That's That was in my rotation for a little while. And why did you take those? Well, magnesium was like stress and uh, sleep. Yeah. Uh, zinc was uh, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fish oil uh, was for, uh, you know, heart health and joints and all that sort of stuff. And how uh, much vitamin that would have cost you a week? Oh, a lot. Whenever I get a cold and flu, the first thing I'll do is I'll still go and pop vitamin C tablets and echinacea. Besides giving me weird breath, <laughs> is it and costing actually, a lot of money. And costing a lot of money. Is it actually doing anything? I mean, at best, it's going to reduce your cold symptoms by like half a day. So bang for buck, it's probably not doing a lot. Most of the flus or cold begin in winter are a virus. Someone sneezes on something, you touch that, you put it in your eyes or your, or your mouth and you catch the cold. And by the time you get symptoms, you get a runny nose, itchy eyes, sore throat, bit of a cough. You've already had the virus for a few days. It's been living in your body, slowly building up numbers, and then it starts to create symptoms. So by that stage, you've kind of missed the boat. If it makes you feel better, it's not gonna do any harm to take vitamin C and echinacea, or garlic or zinc. And there is some evidence that it may reduce the um, time that you're, you're feeling sick by a small amount. With that logic, if I take more tablets, the quicker... <laughs> no. If you take more tablets, Motaz, you'll create very expensive urine. Right. Because I once went to an in integrative integrative medicine GP, right? Who yeah. um, gave me this like IV drip of, uh, it was like a high dose vitamin B supplement and vitamin C. And I legitimately yeah. felt amazing after that for a couple of days. Is that placebo or did that actually, did I, what did that do to me? Why was I feeling so good? Well. It's hard to say because I don't know why you went there and I don't think you want to share that with the whole nation. But let's also remember that that J GP not only gave you what was in the liquid, but gave you a big bag of liquid as well. And for most of us, if we had a liter of fluid put into our vein, would feel pretty damn great. So there could have been the benefits of rehydration. It could have been placebo, but you know, I'm sure that for whatever reason that the, the GP gave you to um, have that infusion, it was needed. And so it probably also treated whatever condition you went there to have addressed. If your doctor is recommending that you take certain vitamins, particularly for pregnant women, young kids, older people, and the middle of winter, there will be times, really important times, when you should be taking vitamin supplements. And um, this might have been one of those times. I mean, I get the same kick out of going to a chemist as I do in a, in a, to a stationery store. You know, like I, I like to browse because there's just the claims it's on so some of these. That sentence. It's, it's, it's true. It's like there's so many claims on these packets. You know, you have a better face, better skin, better hair, be a better boyfriend. Yeah. There's all these like tablets you can get, and um, you do get sucked into that. So. Yeah, you do. Absolutely. That's one of the challenges, to be honest, because many of the vitamins and minerals don't have the same levels of regulation. They don't have to adhere to the same kind of scrutiny as some medications. And so, you know, yes, vitamins and minerals might be associated with a whole bunch of different outcomes, but that doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to have that effect on you. Be a bit careful of what, uh, of what they promise you. Can I overdose on any vitamin supplements? It's quite difficult to do, but absolutely. I mean, vitamins and minerals at the end of the day have an effect on your body. So you do need to be careful not to take them in doses that are way beyond or above what is recommended on the packet. Again, if you have any questions, you should really speak to your doctor. If you have diabetes or heart disease, if you have um, other conditions or ailments, the vitamins might interact with your other medication, but also they might interact with your disease symptoms in different ways that you and I wouldn't um, wouldn't experience. What do you want me to do or look out for or try to consider this week? I want you to look at all the vitamins and minerals that you are taking or that you have taken in the past. And I want you to exclude the ones that have been recommended to you by a professional, by your doctor or someone else. So okay? none of them. Keep, 
<laughs> keep, take, keep taking those. But for the ones that you haven't been, I want you to add up how much that's costing you each week. And I want you to add that to your fruit and veg budget and give it a go. See, see what difference it makes. Spend it buying the things you love and making sure that you're getting more diversity, but also fresh fruit and veg into your daily diet. Oh, I just gotta look up some receipts now or some... <laughs> <laughs> no, all good. Send it over or I'll do it for you, Motaz. Golly. Is it my tax while you're at it? I think we're coming up to that as well. <laughs>